CPS2A boards are notorious for having these fans that get really loud over time. I found a replacement on Amazon, uh, 60 by 60 by 15 millimeters thick. That's great, that fits in there perfectly, but this stock connector is not gonna work, so you're gonna have to cut and splice, or you can do what I did, and add this fan speed controller to get a little bit more variety in your speed. Now, is this gonna work? Well, it fits with some clearance that I had to cut with the oscillating tool, slide this cover on top, and then we'll put it in the cabinet and see if it works. Okay, so I've got the knob turned all the way on. I think what is all the way on. Let's go ahead and turn on the cabinet and see what happens. I am getting absolutely nothing. The game is on though. The fan isn't. Let's see what's wrong. All right, so let's just bypass the controller completely wire these everything directly together oh yeah fans rocking so let's see if I'm got to be getting 12 volts right okay so take the black wire off I'm getting 12 volts there so I went back to the Amazon listing, and this is the way they had it wired. The uh, the black, red input voltage, and then the red and black on the output voltage. Let's see if that works. Fire it up. Oh, nice. There we go. All right, so we've got the LED. Now see if it'll vary the speed. Oh, absolutely. It The fan stalls right about there. So... That's all the way off. And then it kicks in about there. So you're gonna have the fan requiring a minimum voltage to run, but that's very, very quiet. Now that is precise control. If you're interested in doing this mod on your CPS2 board set, I'll include a link in the description for both items I purchased on Amazon. So try it out for yourself, check it out. And as always, game on.